gone through and are going through god has a purpose for you he has a purpose for it he is using it for your glory so when you get to heaven you'll be the man you'll be the woman that god was molding and making for his glory and then ephesians chapter 3 verse 14 to 21 the high watermark of the chapter the mystery of christ in the mystery of christ you have abundant provision the mystery of christ you have abundant provision in the mystery of christ you have abundant provision ephesians chapter 3 verse 14 21 let's go get your bible out and let's go ephesians chapter 3 ephesians 3 14 21 for this cause i bow my knees unto the father of our lord jesus christ of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by the spirit in the inner man that christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that you're being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height and to know the love of christ which passeth knowledge that you might be filled with all the fullness of god now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us unto him be glory in the church by christ jesus throughout all ages world without end amen did you hear that may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breath length depth, depth and height and to know the love of christ that passes knowledge that you might be filled with all the fullness of god not with some of the fullness of god not with a little bit of the fullness of god but with all the fullness of god yeah my friend god wants you to realize that he loves you turn to ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ we are blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in christ you're blessed today my friend you're blessed today and if you take time have a look in your own time colossians chapter 1 verse 24 and 27 colossians chapter 1 verse 24 to 27 what god is trying to show you today is that god loves you so much it's kind of like a telescope in the days of aristotle and in the days of plato and the greek philosophers they wouldn't have been able to see many stars they they saw a lot of stars but when we had the telescope the modern telescope that was developed in the 14th 15th century they were able to see tens of tens and tens of thousands of stars and now with the big telescopes we can see billions of stars but they can only see a little bit and now we see a lot more and that's what god is trying to do in this chapter we only see a little bit of the love of god and he wants to expand your horizons he wants you to open up and see the vast array of the goodness of god for you the wonderful love of god for you god will supply all your need he will do more abundantly than you could ever ask or think he loves you especially those who are trying to proclaim the gospel especially the churches that are trying to proclaim the gospel you might feel that you haven't got the resources you might feel a despised church a small church you might be in india you might be in africa you might be in china you might be in america south america i don't know but you feel as a small church you have not the resources to go forward i want to tell you that god has the resources god has it all in hand and god will provide for his people and he will provide for you as a church you got to go to him and ask it's rather like a guy uh, you, you 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 need some money you need a hundred pounds and you go to this guy and you say i need some money and he writes a check for 20 pounds but then you go to someone who loves you and has a lot of money and you write to them and you talk to them you say I'm, I'm in debt 100 pounds can you help me and they write a check of 200 pounds i'm not preaching health and wealth here what i'm trying to tell you is that god can do more abundantly than you could ever ask or think 
more abundantly than you could ever ask or think yeah more abundantly and so as a church if you have needs as a church you need to pay your pastor a salary you need to pay for the building you need to do the things that you need to do for the proclaiming of the gospel then as a church you can come to the mighty god and mighty god will provide all your needs as a church he loves his church and he will bless his church and he will provide for his church and that goes for you sister that goes for you brother you are wondering how you can cope how you can pay your bills how you can go forward today and in the next few days and in the weeks ahead with your family or maybe you're a single mom and you're wondering how you can cope in the future i'm telling you that god is a father god that god knows your need and god will provide if you go to him yeah especially if you're on message and you're proclaiming the gospel in your area god will meet all your need he is a great god he is a loving god and he's with you right now so do not worry my friend do not stress about the future oh my friend how many times have you been worried about money how many times have you been worried about the future you do not have to stress about the future you do not have to stress about money god will supply all your need if you put him first if you put him first he will be there for you you put him first and he will provide for you he'll provide for you he'll provide for your family he'll provide for your church he will provide because we have a provider we have a mighty god we have a great god and we have a loving god and he will never ever see his people going short of the resources that they need to do and get the job done yeah do you think do you remember the british army when they went into afghanistan they went into the Helmand province and the British army didn't send their troops in with the right equipment. They didn't give them the proper armor jeeps. That's not with our God. When he sends your ch his people into battle, when he sends them into the fight, he equips them and provides for his people because we have a mighty God. Yeah, we have a powerful God. We have a great God and we have a, a lovely God and we have an awesome God. And he is right here now with you and he'll provide for you yeah so you stop worrying you stop worrying about money you stop worrying about the future because god is on your case and he's there with you and he's providing for you and he's going to help you and he's going to sustain you and he's going to be there with you every day oh it's glorious my friend do not i repeat do not be discouraged today because god is with you yeah God is with you. Turn to Romans chapter 8, verse 31 to 39. We're near the end. Romans chapter 8, verse 31 and 39. Romans 8, 31, 39. <coughs> Romans 8, 31 and 39. Woo. Romans 8, 31 and 39. <coughs> Let's see how much God loves you today. Let's see how much God loves you today. Romans 8, 31, 39. Come on now. Look up away from your pain and look into what God has to say for you right now. Romans 8, 31, 39. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God is in christ jesus our lord hey eh? neither height nor depth neither any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of god which is in christ jesus our lord i just want to say something here now i want to talk to that person and you've been in pain you've been in pain you've been suffering emotional pain and over the years there has been this pain that has come and, and 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 it haunts you and you know down in your mind at the back of your mind it comes every now and again like a shadow to you and it haunts you and you don't want to look at it and you run away from it and you run away from it and you run away from it and you keep running away by being busy you're busy and busy and busy and you're running away from the pain 
And then at night, when you're resting, that shadow again comes in your mind. And it comes and it haunts you. And you try to suppress it. And when it comes, it crushes you. And it gives you a sense of hopelessness. You feel that there is no hope when this shadow comes. And so the next day in the morning, you're busy, you're busy. You're running and running and running and running away from the pain. The pain that's deep. The pain that hurts you. The pain that nobody knows about. It's so deep so intimate and so debilitating so hurtful so dark and you're running away from this pain and you're hiding from the pain and i want to tell you that god knows about this pain god knows about it and he's got it in hand put it in his hand he's got it all in hand he knows about it and he's more than able to do abundantly than you could ever ask God. Think he is a good God and he loves you and he doesn't want you to carry this pain anymore. He doesn't want you to be on the run from this pain anymore. You don't have to keep busy all, all the time to hide from this pain. Oh, open your, open your heart to him right now and say, Lord, I'm, this pain's been deep inside me for so long and it's crippled me for so long and there seems no hope about it. But, Lord, I come to you and I say, Lord, carry this pain. Lord, take this pain away from me. And the Lord will carry your pain and he'll, he'll take the pain, the emotional pain. And he will be there for you and he will give you rest for your soul. He says, come to me, all you who are weak and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and learn of me, for my yoke is easy. And my burden is like Romans 5, 8. Turn to Romans 5, 8. Therefore, let us keep Romans, sorry, Romans chapter 5. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But God commendeth his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Christ gave his all. You could not have greater love than that the son of god who was god incarnate god came down made himself with no reputation and became nothing and humbled himself even to death of the cross where they spat at him and they mocked him and they whipped him and yet he did that for you he died for you and he loved you on that cross and he gave his life for you on that cross he bought you with a great price his blood he bought you my friend and now in your Christian life, you're a running and hiding from that pain that keeps coming after you, that pain that dwells up inside you. And there it crushes you. There it pulls you down and you're running and running and running. God wants to tell you right now he loves you. God demonstrates his love to you that while you were yet sinners, Christ died for you. He talks about nothing. Nothing will ever separate you from his love. He's got you in his hands and he'll never leave you. And he'll never forsake you. And he's there with you right now, carrying your burdens. And he loves you. And he can do more abundantly than you could ever ask or think. He can bring light into that dark place. He can bring light into your family where there might be darkness. He can bring light into your situation where it's, it's hopeless. He can do it. And the reason why you can't see it is because of this. You have not yet seen that he can do more abundantly than you could ever ask or think. It says being rooted and grounded in the love of Christ. It says the unsearchable riches of Christ. And the problem with you is you do not understand how great and loving your God is. And it's time you took away.